urobu. So, very special day today because I'm going to the home gym and I'm gonna just another quarantine's coming up again. You know, like you're you, you're gonna get grounded no matter what. So I wanted to show, like we we invested in a home gym, and I just wanted to, like kind of show you around and and tell you like what are some of the essentials after initial thoughts from like how we we're approaching it, the home gym purchase, the process that we took, and kind of like our recommendations on moving forward if you already have this stuff you know it's it's a it's important to just kind of think ahead i would say because you could buy the wrong stuff and also not plan out your um, your space correctly so the first thing that we actually purchased was the actual floor now this floor is uh yeah i have a little piece right here so this is what the floor looks like uh, it's we got a tractor supply. I think it was like thirty bucks per. I think it was like four by six or something, or three by five. So these little pieces. So we, we I don't know. This is a pretty big room. So we covered the whole floor with this material. Okay, that was the, one of the first things that that was the first thing that we purchased. The second thing that we purchased was the squat rack. Now the squat rack. Came bare bones, no bar, no weights, just this, just a squat rack by itself. And and at first we're gonna just purchase a bar, which we got a plate at this like used uh, gym store, order the clips from Amazon, and purchase these bumper plates from a like just a local um, gym store. So that was that's all we had for a little bit, and that was cool. But then we needed to get some dumbbells. So these were the dumbbells that we got. Is the power blocks go up to 50 pounds and you fucking just move uh, these things and set it to whatever weight based on the color. Uh, and then, so we purchased that and then we had the bands. So we purchased the resistance, resistance bands. Uh, so these two sets came together and then we bought this powerlifting set or whatever it's called. Uh, obviously, we have the hip bands, uh, same concept, or yeah, just you know, for hip for the hip, we got a little chalkboard, but this came later. Um, weighted jump ropes was also a pretty good investment. See, this is a two pound jump rope, one pound jump rope, this is a quarter pound jump rope, speed rope, and just the traditional target jump rope. Then we ended up getting the box because doing paw squats and, and just step ups and stuff, super convenient. Um, I think my wife uses it for the hip thrusters, I believe as well. The next thing that we got was this TRX set. Uh, well, it's not the actual TRX, it's like this off-brand one from Amazon. Uh, I'm TRX certified. I, I got TRX certified when I was a personal trainer. But the TRX set is super fucking expensive in comparison to this. And this is the exact same thing. So we just went ahead and got this. It doesn't have an anchor point, so we just used the, uh, the pull-up bar from the actual squat rack. Added some heat lamps because just to make things suck a little bit more. That's just me. Obviously, weight, weightlifting belts. And then the next thing that we purchased was this uh, dip attachment. Uh, so this... You, you move the stoppers to the same side uh, and you just attach both of them on here. Uh, the only thing that also oh, these are actually from the same brand that makes the squat rack. So I would definitely be mindful of that. Don't just pick up whatever dip station and make sure that it fits with your uh, like gym equipment or gym stuff. And then one thing that I, I would say just right now before I fucking forget is this shit is loose. So, for example, like it's not bolted because we're actually gonna move it, but, uh, so for, for example, for me, I have to lift inside the cage only. I didn't try to do like any heavy stuff. The dips have to be inside because too much weight on the outside. If I attach something out here, like I, I feel like I'll flip it over, you know what I mean? Maybe it'll be too hard, but like it'll definitely come up from the bottom. So, and then the last addition was the cable machine. 
um, the cable machine. We actually just got it yesterday, and this, which is why I'm making the video. Because now I feel like the gym, all we need is a bench, but we have a back pain. So I don't really use a bench because I feel like I get better out of doing like overhead standing and dips for chest. And yeah, I just feel like a bench is one dimensional, but this cable machine, um, this is the brand. And yeah, these things fucking attach or move up and down. Um, we have, we came with attachments. So we have handles, we have this rope thing, and this for the waist, I guess. Just to do pull downs and shit and curls. So yeah, man, um, so we're getting more plates added to this. So this is pretty cool. Like the, the way this shit works is fucking awesome. And that is the uh, the home gym essentials in my opinion. Oh, and then we also got a Peloton and we have a yoga studio, <laughs> but or a yoga room, um, but that's not in the gym. So, you know, but you know, it's just the yoga mat and TV and stuff and Peloton. That's in a different room. Um, yeah. Oh, and then we have a Bozo ball as well for you know if you, when you want to get feisty. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, so this actually like this replaced the bench and has been replacing the bench for the most part. Uh, like I do like chest flies and stuff on here, overhead presses, or I put it against the wall and stuff. So like this has actually been her bench, uh, but we don't really use it that often. So that is the home tour, home gym essentials. Jim Bro, married Jim Bro, veteran, lifting for 10 years, still needs to get big biceps edition. <laughs>